Welcome to today's video, the Short Engineering Guide. These commanders have the ability to inflict damage at range whilst taking a smaller amount in return, unlike your usual open field counterparts, who can only fight at melee range. This can also give them a huge tactical advantage on the field, using the terrain such as rivers and mountains for defensive cover. I'll be breaking this guide up into four sections. Commanders, equipment, investment costs, and how to operate them on the open field. So let's get started. Firstly, let's take a look at the commanders, which certainly play a huge part in Rise of Kingdoms. But did you know there's currently only four engineering commanders available? Well, let's meet them. Margaret the First, Babur, Gajamada, and finally, Gonzalo de Cordoba. How to pair these commanders? Margaret and Cordoba have great synergy together, causing a ton of damage because of huge normal attack boosts. Baba, paired with Gajamada, whose combined siege health of 70% makes them super tanky, yet they still inflict a great amount of damage to your enemies. Alternatively, you can pair Margaret with Babur, who have great skill damage synergy, and Gonzalo de Cordoba paired with Gajamada, who both use smite damage. They perform fantastically on the open field. How to obtain these commanders? Margaret I and Gajamada can be found in separate events after Season 3 in Rise of Kingdoms. Then you can pick up Babur and Gonzalo de Cordoba from the Wheel of Fortune event, so keep your eye out. Now, let's take a look at equipment. Another huge part to your success in Rise of Kingdoms. The better your equipment, the better you'll perform on the field. So, believe it or not, Siege have the best legendary equipment available in Rise of Kingdoms, with a huge amount of stats. That's attack, defense, and health combined with a ton of march speed bonuses, making them extremely mobile on the open field. If you want to get hold of these blueprints, you'll need to take part in fantastic events such as Golden Kingdom, Hunt for History, Ian's Ballads, and many more. The next tier of siege equipment is the Epic Blueprints, which also provide great stats. Combined with nice march speed bonuses on the gloves, helm, weapon and chest pieces, these are easily obtained from the equipment chests found in your tavern. Here's a great tip, if you're a beginner to engineering, you can actually make an amazing set of equipment with just animal bone, so you don't even need to use up valuable materials such as iron ore, leather and ebony required for infantry, cavalry, or archer equipment. Now take a look at this harvester set combined with a forest guardian weapon and gloves, over 40% stats in total. Now how much investment into these commanders will you need to perform well against opponents? You can actually run these commanders with great success having the skills set at only 5511. That's as little as a 380 gold head investment. But if you're enjoying your new march and want to go further, 5515 is a great place to be. Now let's take a look at how to operate your engineering march on the field. It's really easy. These commanders firstly require V formation to perform effectively in the open field. Selecting your formation can be found here in the commander section where you'll be able to select different armaments relating to your troop type in this case siege which is the optimal troop type for these commanders armaments can be obtained in the state forum building in your city via dispatch or travel now you can send your troops out of your city and select a target to fire upon alternatively you can click the switch button and choose the position of your tower once you've got it set up, you're good to go. 
I hope you enjoyed this brief guide to engineering and rise of kingdoms. Please like, subscribe, and enjoy firing upon your enemies.